as mentioned in the previous lecture where we looked at prey and predator relationships, there is a problem that arises when trying to maintain beneficial populations in our greenhouse, and that is when there's no pests in the greenhouse, we need to supply a food source, an alternative secondary food source, for our beneficials to feed on and reproduce on in order to ensure that we maintain a stable reproducing population of beneficial insects inside of our growing environment. So that when a pest arrives in our growing environment or when an aphid comes in through a window or a white fly comes in on somebody's jacket, there is a stable at the ready population of beneficials that will hunt that pest down and kill them prior to that pest reproducing and becoming an outbreak or an infestation in our growing environment. The first type of beneficial plant that we're going to look at is banker plants. Banker plants are cultivated within the growing environment and they're co-located with your production crops. In this photo we see three NFT gutters that are growing wheatgrass on which to host an alternative aphid feed source for aphidious wasps. And these gutters will be transplanted around the growing environment between the lettuce crops that are being cultivated. Banker plants are inoculated with safe feed pests for beneficials to feed on when greenhouse pests are in low population. So in the greenhouse where I was utilizing these wheatgrass banker plants, we were cultivating lettuce, which is a dicot plant. Grasses are a monocot plant, and there are actually aphids that only feed on grasses and won't move onto my lettuce crops and feed on my lettuce crops. So I can cultivate these monocot aphids, these grass aphids, on these ryegrass plants. And my aphidious wasps will hang out around this ryegrass and they'll feed on those aphids and they'll reproduce on those aphids and I'll be able to maintain a nice stable population of aphidious wasps in and amongst my growing crops. And should a nice fat juicy peach aphid come into my greenhouse and land on one of my lettuce crops it'll start feeding, the aphidious wasps will be able to sense the pheromones of that aphid feeding and they will go hunt that guy down and kill him before he's able to grow and reproduce into a population that will cause crop damage to the crops that I'm actually cultivating commercially. So banker plants ensure that a healthy population of predatory beneficials are maintained after the greenhouse pest population drops or before greenhouse pests enter into your growing environment. Again, in looking at a banker plant strategy with aphidious wasps, monocots such as oats or wheatgrasses are commonly grown for aphidious wasp banker plants. These grasses are inoculated with Ropalisiphum aphids. These Ropalisiphum species of aphids only feed on monocots such as grasses, so they won't move from the grass banker plants into my crops and they won't feed on the crops that I'm actually cultivating. These monocot aphids serve as a supplemental prey for the aphidious wasps that I'm utilizing as beneficials in my growing environment. Another type of plant that we can cultivate inside of our growing environment as an alternative feed source for certain beneficial insects are sap plants. Sap plants are a class of banker plant that are cultivated in the growing environment to produce sap as a supplemental feed source for certain beneficial insects. Mulling is a common example of a sap plant that is cultivated in many growing environments. Mulling plants produce a sap that's good for feeding and maintaining populations of Dicephus hesperus, a generalist predatory insect used in managing whitefly populations in integrated pest management plants. Another type of plant that's cultivated inside of growing environments as a feed source for beneficials is pollen plants, and these function in a similar fashion to sap plants. Pollen plants function similarly to sap plants by providing pollen as a feed source for beneficials. 
Often ornamental peppers are commonly used as pollen plants in growing environments. Pollen plants are often used as a feed source for aureus beetles or pirate beetles that are used in integrated pest management plans for managing thrip populations. Lastly, trap plants are a great addition to any media bed or any growing environment. Trap plants are cultivated as a preferred host for common greenhouse pests. Trap plants are usually flowering plants such as eggplants or peppers that produce high amounts of pollen or nectar. As a preferred host, pests will typically appear first on the trap plants in your growing environment, which means that you can target those plants for inspections and for treatment with soft or chemical sprays. In a lot of growing environments, trap plants are not typically harvested produce or sold produce because of how regularly they're sprayed and because of the fact that often they're intentionally used to attract pests. And so they're typically not the healthiest or most attractive plants in your growing environment. 